Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Appreciate having each and every one of you here. Well, the Rothko jacket. Could this be the final report on this particular jacket? The answer is yes, it very well might be. Now, I've had this jacket for four or five years, perhaps even longer than that, and this has been an awesome jacket. I mean, greatest bang for the buck that I've ever had in a jacket. As far as durability, how well it's kept me warm, functionality, it has been great. I think I paid somewhere between 70 and 75 bucks for it originally, and that's not bad when you price jackets today. Does this thing look fancy or anything? No, it's just rugged and durable. Uh, you look at the outside of it, there are no rips, there are no tears, and this jacket is worn every day that it needs to be worn. In Iowa winters, when it can be 10 below zero and a wind chill of minus 30 or minus 40, and I'm outside working on removing snow, this jacket is being worn. This is my daily driver jacket, so to speak. It is my go-to jacket. Um, nothing on the interior is worn, and it just works. It has been absolutely great, with one exception. This fall, earlier in the fall, I noticed that I started having a problem with the zipper. The zipper just it didn't want to go in. It didn't want to engage properly. So I took this over to my daughter. She is a, an excellent seamstress, and she tried to fix the zipper the best way that she knew how. But once again, it has come loose. And unfortunately, the construction of the zippers, the way that they are so carefully bound into this garment, does not really make for an easy change. But let me show you what's, what's gone haywire here. Might make a little bit of noise on the microphone, but that's okay. So it seems that the biggest problem is, hopefully you can see that, is right here at the end of the zipper. This is where the material is torn and the zipper moves offline and the material actually binds. Hope it'll focus there for you. And you might be able to see where there's a little bit of a hole there. And that seems to be the problem. So unfortunately, things do wear out, especially when they get daily use. And this thing is worn multiple times a day. I've been up ladders with this. I've been up on roofs with this thing. Uh, but it's just been a, a great jacket. I mean, look at the interior. This thing has kept me warm. It has just done a wonderful job absolutely nothing is torn and that is great my friends it really really is this uh, particular jacket i know i always get asked questions on the size this is a extra large so this is an xl jacket but this thing has really served all of my purposes well and it looks like i'm going to be ordering another one but again the problem is, when I go to zip it up, it's like right now, I cannot get this to engage properly. And I have to just keep fiddling with it, and there it finally went. So anyway, that's the report. I told you folks from the very beginning that I'd let you know how well this jacket uh, has performed, and it has been great. I have no complaints, um, certainly do not have any issues ordering another one. But things wear out. You know, you use things enough and you use them every day, eventually, you know, stuff happens. So I'm not worried about it, certainly not upset about it. I'll just hop online and get another one. But anyway, there you have it, folks. And that's the story from here. So until next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, everybody, have a good one and be safe out there.